Hey, what's going on everybody? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to sniff packets with Wireshark. And in this demonstration, I will be sniffing the contents of an email. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what Wireshark is, it's a network analysis tool used to perform packet analysis and monitor network traffic. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open up our WICD network manager. So let's navigate into our main menu. Then we're going to select applications. And then we're going to select internet. And here we can open up our network manager. Now in your WICD network manager, you need to select the preferences button. Now in your preferences, you need to enter the name of your wireless or wired interface, depending on the interface that you want to capture data with. So to find the name of your interface, you need to open up a new terminal. And in terminal, you're going to type ifconfig, and that will display a list of your interfaces. For this tutorial, I'll be using my ETH0 interface. So once you've located the name of the interface you want to use, go back to Preferences and enter the name. Once you've done that, press OK. And back in your Network Manager's main window, select the Refresh button. And then find the access point that you'd like to connect to and press Connect. Now I'd imagine most of you want to use a wireless network adapter, so you'll probably be finding a wireless access point to connect to. All right, now that we've connected to our access point, we can go ahead and close the WICD network manager. We can close the other terminal if you haven't already. Now go ahead and open up a new terminal and type Wireshark, then press enter. And this is going to start Wireshark. Now in Wireshark, we're going to navigate up to the capture menu. And in the drop down menu, we're going to select options. And beneath capture, you're going to tick the box next to the interface that you'd like to use. And again, I'm using ETH0. Once you've ticked that box, you can go ahead and press Start. And this is going to begin capturing data that travels across the network. So I'm going to move over to a different computer now. And you can see I've already composed an email. I'm simply going to send it. And the email was sent successfully, so I'm going to move back over to my Backtrack machine. And I'm going to go back up to Capture, and I'm going to select Stop. And this is going to stop the capture. Now up in the Filter field, I'm going to type HTTP, and then press Enter. And this is going to filter all of the HTTP protocols so we can easily find the email. Now in the Info column, you're going to want to find the thread that contains Post. And you can see the top thread and the thread directly below it both contain Post. So go ahead and select the thread that contains Post. And down in the bottom panel, scroll around until you find something interesting and you can see here I have actually found the text that I placed in the email it says in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to use Wireshark so on and so forth the text is a little bit broken but it doesn't take a genius to figure out what it says now if you continue to look you'll be able to find the recipient the sender the subject and sometimes you'll even be able to extract the senders contacts which believe it or not are often sent in the email so what I recommend you do now is familiarize yourself with Wireshark and understand the different protocols and some of the different signs that will help you identify packets that contain this type of data. So good luck, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.